don't know what was chasing that down there. That's so sick. Isn't it? That's a keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper right? confina. Oh yeah. Look at this. So that's definitely a keeper. That's definitely a keeper. Oh yeah. It's a really good eating fish right here, actually. What is it? It's a pompano. A pompano? Yeah. These are so highly sought after. The market for these, like, these are like $10 a pound at the fish market. Can you go eat it tonight? Will that cook it up for you? Yeah, what but you I don't know if we're gonna keep it. Cause yeah, Actually, yeah. we could, couldn't we? Why not? Yeah, we have a good, um, a cooler. Our cooler. Yeah, let's keep them. He's awesome. It might catch flight. more. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> that's sick. That's a good keeper pompano. That, that was a good fight. I was watching it. Oh, that yeah. I, on light tackle, it's so much fun. Really? I saw a bunch of stuff busting out there, and I thought it was snook. Oh. I thought I hooked the snook at first. This thing fought. These things throw down. So he's going in the cooler. Nice. Check out to see what this guy looks like after he's been on ice for a couple hours. They get that yellow belly it looks sick they turn into almost like a completely different looking fish as far as coloring goes i love them i'm excited to try this guy too so it looks like there's a lot of i think there's head meat right there oh yeah there is down here to the peck fin looks like there's actually a lot of head meat kind of like there is on a uh, oh i missed a bunch on like on a mahi down here. Along the backbone as usual. Ooh, and these guys are super, super firm meat, it looks like. Uh, actually, this it looks like it's gonna be really easy to skin. They got real thick skin. I messed up on his head on that side. I didn't know that they realized they have so much head meat. It's okay. We'll get him on the other side. Wow. The meat looks fantastic. I didn't miss it. Actually, I did, did a pretty good job for my first time flying a pompano. See if there's anything in his stomach. Oh, cool. Look, this right here is all really hard. Looks like shells, um, sand, crabs. Because what these guys do is they are, um, are bottom feeders and they like shrimp and crustaceans. I think they do eat fish, but the majority of their diet is shrimping, and, um, crust crustaceans, crabs, stuff like that, shellfish. So they got to dig up a lot of sand because a lot of times their um, their prey hides in the sand. So their bellies are literally full of sands. This is not the shell of anything. It's literally just sand, it looks like. These guys right here, so like I said, this is a pompano, and if you look, they got these real big old rubber lips. Um, and they actually have a very, very, if I stick my finger deep down in there, you guys can't see it, but there's an actual crusher. It's like a, it almost feels like stone, and like I said, they eat crab, shrimp, and stuff, so they swallow that in there, and they'll actually crush it. It's super, super hard in there. You would not want to put your finger in there while they're munching on some crabs. Was I? I would definitely say this is the firmest fish I have ever filleted, hands down, no question about it. I'm actually gonna try a little piece sashimi style. Cheers, guys. Ooh, big jack. It almost tastes like lobster meat. I'm not even kidding, it tastes very, it's very crustacean-y tasting, it, like a shellfish would. What up guys, Chef Vic back in the kitchen coming at you with another catch and cook. And I'm very excited today because I have never ever cooked pompano before. I've had it made for me before, but being able to actually make it yourself is a completely different story. So I got a little baggie here from Brook and I's Nap Naples trip and um, it's just enough to feed my family for a little light dinner. Not gonna do any crazy seasonings or sauces for the fish because I really wanna taste the true nature of the fish. So I'm gonna lightly season it. I'm gonna do a simple, uh, garlicky butter, garlic butter cream sauce, and I'm gonna pour that over broccoli over as our side dish, so let's get started. So first thing we got going on is just three tablespoons of butter in my little saucepan right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and I have half of a head of garlic already uh, peeled. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there, cook that a little bit for about a minute. So while the butter's gone, we're gonna come over here and chop up some veggies 
is I got some Campari tomatoes. I always preach to you guys these tomatoes. If you ever find them, get them. They are literally the best tomatoes I ever had. And I got some scallions. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna top my pompano uh, with the scallions and tomato, drizzle the cream sauce over it, and like I said, lightly season these pompano fillets. Take this scallion right here and add it to the butter that was heating up and put the garlic in there as well. Now I'm just going to lightly brown the garlic and scallions. And let's do a half a cup of cream. a cup of whole milk. Almost forgot. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now we got our fish pan, tiny bit of olive oil, get that going. And there is the cream boiling. So now I'm going to reduce the heat and just let it go, and just let it thicken up. We added some scallion to our little tomatoes that are diced up, which will go on top of our fish. Okay, time to season our fillets, and when I say bare minimum, I'm going bare minimum. We're gonna do salt, pepper, garlic powder, and that is it. Very, very simple, so you could really taste the pompano. This guy is ready to be cooked. One of the easiest fish I've ever worked with. Oh, look at that golden brown color. That's what you want right there. One of the easiest fish to work with because as you guys saw when I filleted this thing, the fillets on this fish are so damn firm. Woo, looking good. And just one last thing to season these guys up is just gonna be a sprinkle of lemon juice. All right, they're ready to come off. Last thing, since I still have a little bit of oil in that pan, and I love scallions, so does my family, we're gonna brown up some scallions that'll go along with the fish as well. Here's our scallion tomato mix. I cheated and just went with some steam in bag broccoli because I wasn't trying to get carried away with this meal, you know. So, but this stuff is actually pretty good if you've never had it. Now, the very best part, for sure, is gonna be this creamy sauce that I made. Put some on our broccoli, a little bit on our fish. All right, time to take the first bite. Very good. One of the best eating fish so far that I've had. Even though I say that about every single eating fish. But it goes to show you guys, all the white flaky fish we have here in Florida, they're all good. Everyone says that this tastes better than that and that tastes better than that. But the truth is, as long as your fish is fresh, it's bound to be good. And uh, the pompano, one thing I really do like though is that the texture is very good. It's kind of like mutton. It's very firm. 
I've brought home kingfish, grouper, snapper, mackerel. I've brought home like 10 different fish now, all these catch and cooks, and my grandma has liked every single thing, even mm -hmm. snakehead. Something that lives in a canal, and guess what? My grandma and dad both just said that pompano is probably the fishiest fish they've ever had, which is honestly crazy, because this fish is very, very expensive, especially uh, at a market. And she also didn't like the mutton snapper I made last time, which goes to show you that, you know, there's definitely a different, different people have different tastes, and I don't, I don't know what it is, but I think that's really strange that some of the most expensive fish turn out to be the fishiest really? fish to some people, and then some of yeah. the some of the least expensive fish that you would never even see in a fish market turn out to be some of their favorites. Just like I think kingfish and snakehead were their two favorite fish that I brought home so far. Two fish that are revered by people to be not good, not edible, and yeah, I think that's kind of funny. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, stay salty, and I'll see you in the next one.